Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Wu Hu and today I've got for you a five Nuevos Soles coin from Peru from the year 2009. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. On the obverse inside the central ring here, a coat of arms of Peru. This cornucopia shows some gold coins. There's a vicuña in the top left and a cinchona uh, representing the mineral, animal, and plant kingdoms. Uh, the text around says Banco Central de Reserva del Peru, or the Central Reserve Bank of Peru, and the year of mintage 2009 down below. Turn this over to the other side. Oops, actually it's co uh, coin aligned, meaning if I flip the coin over like this, it remains right side up. Uh, this is a Nazca Lines condor that you can see right there. Nazca Lines meaning the outline uh, of a particular uh, shape, the condor in this particular case. Uh, big number five for the denomination and Nuevos Soles uh, down below uh, right there uh, showing the denomination. Uh, now, these coins have been produced uh, from 1994 up until 2009, as you can see here. Uh, the design got a bit of a facelift uh, in 2010 until 2015, uh, at which point it ceased being known as Nuevos Soles and just simply Soles. Uh, these coins are bimetallic in composition, as you can plainly see. It's a brass center in a steel ring, 6.67 grams in weight, 24.27 millimeters in diameter, 2.09 millimeters thick with a reeded edge. Uh, now, 2009 uh, has a mintage of 10 million for circulation, so not the most common uh, year of this particular date run, but uh, not the most uncommon either. Uh, what we do know is that this coin has a face value of $1.32 US cents. Uh, rather interesting uh, note about the Peruvian sol, I guess as it's known now. Uh, although it's derived from the Latin solidus, meaning solid, uh, the word also means sun in Spanish. Inti so, is the same as the sun god of the Incas, uh, uh, whose civilization uh, is, lived in what is now present-day Peru. Uh, in fact, uh, one Inti at the time equaled 1,000 soles de oro, the predecessor of that. So this is actually the, the second currency known as sol. Uh, so one of these nuevos soles uh, replaced the Inti at one sol to one million Intis. Uh, Peru, as a matter of fact, has uh, the lowest uh, rate of inflation in either South America or Latin America as a whole. So the exchange rate will fluctuate between about 2.2 to 4.13 soles per U.S. dollar. So uh, consider this about one to two dollars in face value. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information on this coin. And I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram, at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.